Welcome to SPX Bolting Systems. The purpose of this short video is to demonstrate and highlight the features and benefits of the ENS Hydraulic Nut Splitter. But first, let's talk about health and safety. When working with hydraulic tools, it is essential to have the necessary safety and protective equipment to work with. As an absolute minimum, you require gloves, safety glasses, and still uh, protected boots, toe protector boots, but also have the appropriate overalls for the environment you're working with. You should always ensure that the environment you're working in is clean and tidy and that other people working within that environment observe the same safety precautions. Safety should always be number one priority for you and your colleague workers. The SPX hydraulic nut splitter, the ANS model, comprises of a hydraulic cylinder with interchangeable heads to suit various nut sizes. On every head there is a chart which indicates the range of fasteners, metric and imperial sizes and within the chart there is a window indicating a, a marker line on the hydraulic piston. Adjustment is made by rotating the cylinder within the head to suit whichever nut is being cut. Once this is achieved, because of the limited stroke of the cylinder, the nut is cut without damage to the thread. The cutting blade fits into a dovetail slot shown here in the cylinder. The blade itself is triangular, has three cutting edges and an indent which is uh, engaged with a ball to hold in position. To engage the blade, simply press into the holder and click home. The tool has an adjustable handle which can be rotated to suit comfortable positioning. A hydraulic cylinder with spring return assures operation and built within the tool itself is a 10,000 psi safety relief valve so the tool cannot be over pressurised. Subsea version of the nut splitter is also available and rather than a, a spring return piston there is a hydraulic return. On the tool there will be a connector in the centre and a connector offset for the return system. Operation is exactly the same as the conventional nut splitter. When cutting a nut, it is advisable to use a lubricant, a suitable lubricant, a thread lubricant on both the face of the nut and on the edges of the blade. And the nut to be cut has a clear access around it so that once the tool is positioned on the nut, it can be supported until hydraulic pressure achieves a grip, after which the tool can be released and the hydraulic pressure will hold the tool in position. During cutting, it's important to watch the pressure of the gauge as the nut is splitting rather than cutting. And as we increase the pressure, as the crack progresses into the nut, the pressure will drop and we apply another pressure with the hand pump until the nut actually cuts. Once the nut is cut, the nut can be released from the stud and the stud be reusable. It may have a witness mark, but it is certainly undamaged for reuse. 